Now we will talk about the concept of rural development. Half of the population of Georgia live in villages. They are rural people. And the vast majority of these people living in the villages, they make their life out of agriculture. This is the main income generating activity for the people of Georgia living in the rural areas. But the problem is that modern agriculture requires less people. So what would happen the day agriculture will modernize in Georgia? Perhaps many people could migrate to the cities, creating new problems of high unemployment rates and other issues. But there is a way to get rid out of this possibility. The state can promote, as it is the case in the European countries, what we call rural development policies. This requires allocating financial resources for rural development. First, government can select certain areas as priority areas for these policies, like mountainous areas, or areas which are isolated and remote, or areas with very low population density. And in these areas, the government can allocate extra resources for agriculture and also promote non-agriculture economic activities. For instance, tourism, like agrotourism, also uh, business related to agriculture, and technologies and information for the villages, etc. Plus, supporting environment, which is very important in these rural areas. Agriculture, non-agriculture activities, and environment are the three pillars of the rural development policy. Empire, better agriculture for better life.